can't be the fastest because that's a cheetah. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does a lion become the king of the jungle? What separates the lion from the rest of the animals that crowns him as the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. It's the way a lion thinks. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant. I'm trying to give people a different thought process of life where failure, hell, disappointment, discomfort is a great learning tool. And many people don't understand that, but it's these few moments in life that you have. Like for me, I always talk about it. Rocky won round 14. That one two minute in 13 second clip of Rocky getting up when Apollo knocked him down. That one clip when I was going through a very bad time in my life, I saw what I wanted to be. There wasn't a guy that won. There wasn't a guy that won everything he did. It was a guy that kept getting up after being knocked down. So I realized if that two minutes and 13 seconds changed my life, so I was. I saw something that I needed to be in the world I was living in. Maybe my story will give someone the two minutes and 13 seconds they need to change their life. Everybody's got a story. We don't share it on social media. We share our nice life on social media. We, have, we all have a dungeon. I'm just willing to talk about mine. Mental toughness isn't something that you sample. It's something that you live in every day. Whenever hardness comes, and you don't know what it is, it may be different for you than it is for me, but you go back to your insecurities. And then when you go back to your insecurities, you then look for comfort within those insecurities. And we all look for that cookie that your mom used to give you when you were sad, when you were sick. We look for our wife or our husband. We look for comfort. It's in those moments you must retrain your mind to think differently in hell. The mental standard is you must know how far you've come. I walk in a room now and I know that hours and years and decades I put into David Goggins. That's something, it's not on the wall. It's not a trophy on the wall. It's not a medal on your neck. I don't care how you perceive David Goggins because through my journey, I figured out the one piece I was missing. I thought it was cars. I thought it was women. I thought it was money. I thought it was everything. The one piece I was missing was me having the courage to face myself. Where I got my work ethic from was the hours I had to spend learning this. When you sit down and you're not smart, and you have a disability, yeah. and you still want to be at the top of your class, I didn't want to just get by. When I realized that I can learn through hard work, and I can beat the valedictorian in school, but I got put in 10 hours more a day than he does. You know what kind of strength comes from that? When you're sitting down, that guy that, that valedictorian studied for an hour, and you know I caught you. I have the work ethic to catch you. That's where David Goggins got really invented. Yeah. Was at a kitchen table with 20 spiral notebooks that were empty, and then they were full. And when you can go through that, I still have them in my storage unit. You go through these spiral notebooks of your life, and you realize this is how I learn. This is unbelievable. It wasn't until I got real sick and my life got real quiet. I, I went from running 205 miles in 39 hours to I couldn't get out of bed. My life was taken from me. And that's wow. when I realized I hadn't taken time to think about what I'd done in my life. I'd done all these things, but there was no finish line. I finished a race of life, and I wouldn't even receive my medal. I'd go on. <laughs> I'd get in the car and I'd go. When I started figuring out life, that I was, I was leaving so much in the tank, once I realized, my God, man, I was this dumb, fat kid being bullied, and now I'm a 180 pound person who lost 106 pounds in less than three months. Learn to read, learn to do this, learn to do that. 
I was like, I need more. Mm -hmm. I was fueling my mind with everything. And I never took time to say, my God, you came from this hell and you're here. I had come 8,000 miles from where I started. But if you never know that, you're still in a $7 a month place. So it's that quiet place. It's that place by yourself. It's those hours and years and decades by yourself in the grip of life. When life has you by the throat and choking you out and you're sitting there calm because you're trying to figure it out. You're not panicking. You're not quitting. You're not throwing in the towel. You're saying there's a way around this. And when you figure it out, when life has you gripped in advice and you can figure that out, that's when you overcome. That's when you overcome. The journey getting there was harder than going through it. Yeah. You know, so that's the whole thing about life, man. It's, it's, it's that journey that, that makes you who you are. When you have fallen, when you have made a mistake, the worst thing you can do is criticize yourself. At the end of the day, life can be very painful. We can experience loss and worry and the insomnia of reoccurring heartbreak and hardships. It is inevitable. It is self-compassion that gives us the power to face our failures, to face our fears, to face our insecurities, to face what we don't like about ourselves and come out on top. When you're down, find a way to get up. I've been there. I go through it like anybody else. But I have a job to do in this world. So do you. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. Evaluate where you are. Look at it, assess yourself. Assess yourself and assess the situation. What brought you there? What role did you play? All of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. If you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. I'm telling you from personal experience, I know what my life was like when I put in 55. I know what it was like when I didn't try. I know what my life was like when I didn't care. I know what my life was like when I didn't have any dreams or any goals. Like, like I didn't want anything. I know what my life was like. Now I'm putting in 120, baby. You put in 120. Not only does it affect your life, it affects your family's life. It affects your friend's life. It affects your community's life. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to get from where you are. I'm challenging you to stop settling. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you to stop accepting the life that was given to you. I'm challenging you to give 120%. Are you hearing me? Trying is not good enough. Trying is not going to get you there. We need potential. We need application. We need dedication. We need motivation. We need discipline. We need to understand that work must be applied. And even when you don't want to do it, find a way to do it anyway. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration. That this is what you stand for. If you are going to win the fight for your future, then you are going to have to master self-compassion. Face the conflict. Embrace rather than avoid the challenges. And you don't give up on yourself. Do not give up on yourself. When you find yourself criticizing yourself, negatively comparing yourself to others, try to find inspiration in their successes and strengths instead of feeling threatened. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. Uh, elephant, thanks, Ryan. The animal kingdom respects the lion more than any other animal in the jungle. You see, lions hunt during storms, and they do most of their hunting at night. They hunt during storms because the noise and the wind makes it hard for prey to see and hear them. 
That's the lion's mentality. And it's all mentality. Lions walk around fearlessly and they are in charge of their own destiny. I'm going to need you to tap into your lion mentality and conquer your territory. You do not have to be the biggest. You do not have to be the smartest. You do not have to be the fastest. But you must adopt the mindset of a lion. Have the love for your grit. Have the love with every rep that you push out. It is up to you to get the most of 